If you love hearing about people who love what they do, then join me for another uplifting story from People with Passion. Welcome, everyone to People with Passion. It's great to have you here and I'm very fortunate today to have the lovely Helen Walker with me from Walker Wellness. Helen, welcome and thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for the invitation, Claire. It's lovely to be with you. It's wonderful to have this opportunity and I mean we've known each other really quite a long time, haven't we? Um, So I, you know, I've had the luxury of having some treatments from you over the years, which have always been of such great benefit. And and I know how um, passionate you are and how focused you are on wellness. And so I think why don't we just dive in and you can give us a bit more of an idea as to what you what you do. So maybe tell us about the types of treatments that you offer at Walker Wellness. Let's do that. Thank you. I'd love to. Um, Well, I started off as a therapist working with people, and that's still a large part of what I offer to clients. Um, Mainly people would seek me out in the first instance if they're aware of having physical aches and pains or discomfort. Um, And I use a range of different therapies that are really quite gentle or light touch, but highly effective at um, addressing say, physical alignment issues or tension patterns in the body. So from the, I suppose, suite of um, techniques that I've learned over the years, I've put together, I suppose, I've been a therapist now about 24 years. So in that time, I've worked out, I suppose, uh, what works for, for me in the majority of cases with the clients that come along, the human clients that come along for me to help. Um, and they, uh, I, I call what I do um, CAT or combined alignment therapy. So in that I use a range of different um, therapies, uh, neuromuscular release type work, muscle release, gentle muscle release work. Emmett's technique is a, um, would be a large part of what I do. Um, that's Australian technique, a uh, light touch muscle release work. Also Bowen therapy. I've been trained in Bowen since 96. Um, I also incorporate Dawn spinal therapy and um, a wonderful scar tissue technique called McLaughlin scar tissue release work. So that alongside many others as is most appropriate for the client on the day. Mm. So though I have um, a, a deep a deep bag, I suppose, yeah, I suppose I to be to be using you certainly do. Time. Yeah, no, you really do. You have a very broad, very diverse, and but still a very focused toolkit, I would say. And I noticed you've been, you've been mentioning the word human, and I know that that also means that you've now sort of ventured into working with animals. So tell us a bit more about that. Yes, that's my, something that I'm uh, absolutely loving, absolutely loving. Um, so about, I think it was six years ago now, um, having been doing Emmett's technique for, since 2004, um, Emmett for horses became um, available at that you could learn from I think 2013. So at the time I was based overseas in South Africa, and I um, when I was able I embarked on the training with in Emmett for horses. So since that time I started working, um, you know, completed the training and working with horses, and then when I returned from South Africa the Emmett for Dogs had become um, available as a training course. And I've always been a mad keen dog lover. So Me too. Once I, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> once I was back in the country and it was possible to actually attend training, um, I did so. I did so at the first opportunity. Though saying that, I actually, it wasn't wholly available here. So I, I did travel around from Western Australia. I went over to uh, Queensland and to Victoria, and I also went to England to make sure that I could could finish all the training um, 
because you know it was something that I was super keen to get under my belt and having aging dogs I just really wanted mm. to be able to help so that was my that was my uh, driver I suppose that was what what inspired me and then of course starting the work it's just gone on and um, and so now I see horse and dog clients as well as human clients which is just the most joyful thing um, you know I, I introduced Emmett for horses to the mounted police in Western Australia uh -huh. so, yeah that's something that I I get a lot of satisfaction from um, Probably most weeks that I'm that I'm in the country, <laughs> I will treat the horses at the mounted police horses, um, and I've been doing so for now a year and a half. And also, um, I work with local dog refuge place, ah. uh, treating the Swan Animal Haven, treating the dogs there each week. Fantastic! So that's so lovely. Lucky, <laughs> lucky dogs and lucky horses. And, and just to clarify too, um, which has probably become obvious, but you split your time. You're mainly based in Western Australia, um, but you do still spend some time in South Africa, don't you? I Last year I went over to South Africa a couple of times to uh, teach some of the animal courses, which was wonderful. It's mm -hmm. new to um, South Africa. I, when I was living there, I actually introduced Emmett for people to the country, and which was great. I, I teach some of the, the introductory human work, um, and I teach some of the more advanced animal work. Um, so in South Africa, then, I introduced the human stuff then, a very dear friend, an excellent instructor, it's now the main um, Emmett for people instructor in South Africa so my, my I was very keen that they should also benefit from the animal work so it's, it's slower to get off the ground you know over there um, I'm available I'm available to go um, and teach and I'm very keen to it's it's partly driven by them partly driven yeah, driven by my availability yeah, understandable because it's uh, obviously it's a big it's a big mission to keep clinics and now that you're an instructor to keep two continents basically um, you know going at the same time or two locations I should say and what what's the ideal scenario be, uh, you know if people are watching this the ideal scenario for you to be able to come and and conduct um some training or to even to run a clinic in a different location be it somewhere in australia or overseas sure the well the ideal the the easiest way uh that tends to flow with you know w tends to flow more is if somebody uh knows that they've that they've either heard about the work or in, uh, experienced it themselves and they think, yep, this would be great. I've got a bunch of uh, people who I know who would really love this. Um, will, you, will you come to teach us? And I love teaching for private groups. That's absolutely wonderful because it's always a really great energy with that. Um, but equally, in South Africa, you know, we've got uh, coordinators. So really, the key thing is for, for it to be away from home, for somebody to get in touch and say, love you to come, will you do that? We would talk about it. Um, and really, then they would need to drive it and be the, the energy and the instigator. And, uh, you know, obviously, we'd go through everything and they go, yep everything's organized everything's arranged the people are there the venues are there can you turn up in which case i love doing it that way <laughs> i'm a much better instructor and therapist than i am at organizing certainly in different locations as well yeah so i'm done. makes makes uh, perfect sense yeah i'm yeah. due to be teaching um in different areas of wa but it's not so easy when you're not on the ground so it's always yeah. so much better having a local person yeah. Now, just back to your, you mentioned earlier about your cat technique, your combined <laughs> therapy yes. technique. 
And I mean, certainly what I've noticed when when I've been a recipient of, of the treatment or if I've watched you at all, is that you have a very um, you have a very individual approach to treating someone or or an animal, um, and you really take your time to understand how they're moving, how they're feeling, um, and it strikes me that there's a very intuitive component to to what you do, and obviously it's based on a lot of experience and all your skills and expertise. But there's also that real sort of honing in on where where someone is at. Um, before you even begin to treat. And I think, I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of therapists over time, but I think this is something that really sets you apart. And without trying to embarrass you completely, I just think it's, it's, a, really, um, it's a really unique and, and a very special quality that you bring to, to the work that you do. So if I haven't embarrassed you too much, maybe we talk a bit more about that, how you come up with a sort of customised approach to working with with each individual yeah thank you for that that's really lovely <laughs> yeah oh awkward <laughs> no not at all <laughs> um, you know i i really um like having fun with my clients and at the same time i take my work really seriously so i'm not casual about my work you know that I I like to be very present and with the person or animal. Um, and I've had some really great teachers over the years um, who have, um, from whom I've learned that, you know, yes, we take on board what people say to us and maybe uh, l listen closely, but also listen to what isn't said. And... I think through working with animals as well, my observation skills have really um, sharpened and honed. Plus, as mm. you say, in 24 years, sometimes it's even, um, I'm not even aware of what I notice, but I notice. So for a new client coming along, if it's a, if it's a person, then I would, obviously we'd, we'd have a chat and I would find out a little bit about what's going on for them. But then before they get too much into a story, it's like, right, let's take some photos. Let's see what your body's showing us. Mm -hmm. And I find that if I can help a person see what their body's looking like, it might help them understand why they've got some of the discomfort or, um, or issues that they're feeling at the beginning. Uh, at the start so then we would do that as a start point and I'd go through that with them because I really want uh, want to help people be very engaged with the process and also to empower them that sure they can come along to me and I can help to set off a process in their body but I really want them also to buy in to what their body's able to do and to to work in conjunction, you know, that I I can set them on their way, but they're with themselves 24 hours a day. So um, that, I think because I'm a teacher as well, I'm very keen to help, to educate people really, to help them understand what's going on for them, why they may be feeling the way they're feeling. So then they would have a little walk and I would watch them move and I would just notice and then just gently point out to them some of the things I observe, you know, like, oh, I notice your arm doesn't move or, you know, the movement in your back seems to stop at the waist and doesn't go up any further, you know, all these things that they then go, ah, oh, hadn't realized. So then we would tend to do some of the work standing. I really start to feel it and also to make sure um, is receptive to the to the work that that um, we'll be following, and um, so I tend to spend some time doing work, some work standing, and then have them walk again, so that they can really start to feel and notice the changes. And then we'll come, um, and very often we'll then be on one of the massage couches and do more work then. And at the end, they get up, they walk again, they have more photos because it's all very well um, change occurring. But if they don't see it and we're not integrating that understanding and that awareness, mm. then it, it I find that can be a missing piece of the jigsaw just to help them recognize 
and consolidate some of the change, um, mm. which continues for several days afterwards. So, yeah. And I think that's, that is so important, isn't it, is that, that wellness aspect, you know, the take-home part where, where the person is actively participating in their own wellness and, you know, you get them started and give them all these great clues and, and obviously help them feel a great deal better. Um, but then they've got, you know, their own tools um, that you're yeah. providing them with really to, to keep going. So I think that's great. Um, now, in your downtime, because you do live in a very beautiful part of the world in your little corner of Western Australia, so what is it that you you like to do when you're not working? Well, as you know, being <laughs> as we've known each other a long time, I've recently um, been given a horse. So, so one of my, well, in fact, so really, you know, I'm, I guess you'd call it a busman's holiday because my animals are massively important to me. So I, I still have um, my aging dogs who I absolutely adore and I now have a slightly aging horse as well <laughs> who is also contributing both to my, my enjoyment but also he's like a teacher for me, you know. So, mm -hmm. you know, having been doing this work for a long time, it's really nice to finally have my own my own horse, you know, so I know I, I've probably come about it in a, in a way that other maybe horse instructors wouldn't. But for me, it feels like a real gift that I really in, understand the technique that I'm working with. And I understand it very clearly from a from the point of view of working with people and how bodies bodies in general and nervous systems work. So now I have my own teacher horse who... You know, I'm able to finesse what I'm passing on because, mm. you know, in the same way that with having my dogs, it's like, well, I've, I've got my toolkit right there. So, yeah, yeah, that's my yeah, perfect. <laughs> I love it. It doesn't get much better than that. And of um, course, you know, as you say, living in this beautiful area, uh, we have great wineries around here. <laughs> Yes, you certainly do. We do, we do. And my beautiful partner, so all is good. My life is lovely. Good. Well, look, we're going to wrap, wrap up very soon, but I thought I would just ask you one last question, which is if there's anything, um, well, I know because you're such a passionate person that there are many things that excite you, but is there anything particular at the moment that is of great excitement or interest to you coming up? Well, yeah, you know, as a new horse owner, um, I'm and and um, I'm I'm really keen to do more of my own personal learning with that and um, with horses. So I'm attending dissection courses later on this year. So there's some really fabulous workshops so that I can deepen my knowledge and understanding, and hopefully, um, as as an instructor be able to to flesh out what I t flesh for a dissection <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> nice. but you know, I can maybe um make make what I teach more real and help people in their understanding and of course as a therapist too but the thing that really gets me um excited is is that that interrelationship between animals and people mm. and the deepening of that connection and what that can mean on so many levels. So that is a whole study in itself, not just the behavioral aspects, but I suppose you'd almost call it in some ways the metaphysical. And um, and that's, that's really exciting me actually at the moment. So mm -hmm. I really enjoy the ho a holistic way to work. So it's not just about the physical and where I put my fingers. You know, it's on a multi multitude of levels and layers of connecting with animals. And if I can help people understand that with their own animals too, that's just fabulous. <laughs> yeah. It's very, very rewarding work. And, uh, I mean, it's very rewarding being on the receiving end of it too. I can certainly vouch for that. But it's, it, it's always fascinating to me and I think you're, you're one of probably the most 
well read, well studied. I mean, you you you're constantly learning. And I think you make a great contribution through, you know, just having this very expanded uh, knowledge. Um, it's just, you know, I've, I've known you a long time and I've known a lot about what you do, but I think even through this chat I've learned a, a whole lot more. So I really thank you for spending spending the time with me but also with, um, with anyone who's watching because, you know, I think you've still only probably scratched the surface. There is so much to what you do and I think really anyone would benefit from, um, from learning more, whether they actually want to learn more as a student from you or to come and have, have a treatment. Um, you know, there's, they would benefit enormously. So thank you again, Helen. And um, obviously we'll put um, contact details and uh, links, et cetera, in the notes attached to, to the interview. So, and thank you everyone for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm sure you have. And Helen Walker from Walker Wellness, thank you so much for being on People With Passion. Claire, thank you. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.